Hey, hey, everybody, Tim here, Gray Man Poda, amateur radio call sign, November Whiskey 9 Foxtrot. So I had posted a picture on Twix, and in that picture I had had the uh, IC705, and I had this tablet running with a program called FTHCN, and you may or may not be familiar with it. If you are, great. If you're not, uh, put a Put a comment down below if you'd like to see more on it but it's a cool program that allows you to run ft8 on portable devices so you don't have to haul a computer with you it's an android uh, application uh, but how do you get your logs out of it you know up until a couple weeks ago uh, i had been uh, actually typing in uh, my FT8 contacts as they were happening. So, you know, as I uh, got, a, got a response back from the other station, I would type their signal report in, I would type in the signal report that I sent, and I would save them that way. And I was having to sit there and type, and that's great until you get somebody that, you know, all of a sudden you, you lose contact with them and you gotta clean that log entry out and everything. I started doing some research and actually Polo, Portable Logger, and that's the logging application now I've been using all summer long. Absolutely love it, by the way. Um, in the August release, and for the developer options, if you turned it on, they had the ability to import ADIF files. Now that has gone into the full released version now, so in the September update, uh, you have the ability to import uh, ADIF files now from external applications so you can bring that into your log. Uh, so that's what I was going to cover today. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and uh, let's go ahead and bring in yesterday's FT8 contacts into the log so I can upload it to the POTA site. All right, so to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and uh, open up the Polo app. Now in today's demonstration, I am using this uh, on my Mac computer. Uh, it's one of the newer ones that has the uh, Apple Silicone, which can run the iPad apps, so I can run Polo on it. Uh, currently, Polo is not supported on PC or Mac uh, proper, but in this case, because I can run iPad apps, I can also run the app in here. And so far, I haven't had any issues with it. Now, in, once again, in order to uh, do this, you will need to have the most recent version of Polo. And I do recommend that you uh, check the app on a regular basis uh, because it does update uh, frequently as new uh, issues are discovered and uh, those are corrected. And then also uh, new features are constantly coming out. So uh, big props to Sebastian and the team who, uh, who've been doing this. Uh, but so here we've got a uh, log from yesterday. Uh, so uh, I've got 35 QSOs in here uh, from the uh, 20th and then the 21st. So just after 8 p.m. last night, technically, new UTC day. Uh, I've got three uh, contacts <clears throat> uh, post uh, or late shift contacts. Those were voice contacts. So what I want to do is go ahead and add my FT8 contacts in here. The uh, text file we're going to look at today. Now I went ahead and exported this out of FT8CN. And if you're interested in that program, once again, put a comment down below. Let me know. And if there's enough interest, I will go ahead and make a, a more in-depth video about FT8CN. It is a kind of a neat program, a fun program to use, especially if you're doing more portable operations and you don't want to lug a laptop with you to do FT8. Uh, so looking at the log file here, um, this is a standard ADIF format, ADI um, uh, format file. Um, but as you can see here, my very first uh, call sign in the log is November 3 Bravo Zulu Whiskey. And uh, we made contact starting, let's see, 920 at 0045. And um, the last contact in this log is going to be um, Kilo Bravo 9 Juliet Yankee. Kilo Bravo 9 Juliet Yankee. And that was roughly, QSO date is 2024, 0921 at uh, 0010. So 10 minutes after midnight. And this is all Zulu time, UTC time. All right, so those are the uh, the top and bottom of our file. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go back to Polo and we're gonna open it up. and. Let's just go ahead and expand this. 
so we can we can see everything now theoretically we're going to be pushing uh cusos in probably before the first line so our first uh, entry in here is november 3 x-ray lima sierra and our bottom one is uh kilo eight or kilo echo eight pzn or james ham radio adventure guy so if we go over to operations tab here at the top and we come into the uh, operations section down here we have import qso's now i do have developer options turned on at this point just because i like to I like to play around uh, as as i said this is now a supported feature in the program uh, so you do not have to have developer um, options turned on just have the most recent version of the uh, the application so what we need to do is select uh, add QSO, and then you're going to want to go to your file or wherever you have this ADA file stored and in my case it's this one here we're going to go ahead and hit open and now you can see on the screen we're starting to import in uh, entries now so I've got three entries above whiskey 3 x-ray lima sierra those came in they're on 7074 which is uh, the 40 meter ft8 frequency one of the nice things uh, about this program I, i'm right on the edge of internet access out here but i am i am getting it uh through my hotspot so i can just click on the the name and and hit save and it will now populate um their entries i do have this program set up to queue or or uh, query uh, qrz every time it sees a call sign so um, it will get that updated information <clears throat> all right well this is uh this is as is ready to go now we've added uh, more contacts in here previously we had 30 some i think we've got 54 qso's in here for uh, friday and uh, today we have uh, we had three we've got three more uh, which means I need to get on the ball before uh, 8 o'clock rolls around uh, midnight UTC and uh, get some more contacts in the log before the, uh, the end of the day. And don't forget, we still have the 3,000 subscriber YouTube giveaway coming up. I will drop links to that down below so you can get registered for it. If you want to help support the channel, there's a join button down there that you can hit. And until we have an opportunity to meet on the air again, I have a video right over here that you might be interested in.